So obviously you can see this tweet on the screen right here from TDM Jesus that says, where were you when CS2 skin died? Now it does seem like a little bit of deja vu. This is probably like the third, fourth, or fifth time that CS2 skins have already died in 2024, which is really crazy. But today we're going to be talking about the latest news, the latest controversy, the latest death of CS2 skins, CS2 trading, CS2 skin investing, CS2 skin prices, all of that good stuff. Uh, because yeah, once Again, things are getting pretty crazy, uh, and I don't really know what's in store for the future, but I know that, uh, hey, things are probably not as bad as m most people are saying, but we'll have to wait and see. But first, I uh, just want to mention real quick, if you uh, maybe think CS2 skins are dead and you're looking to sell any of your items or cash out your entire inventory or whatever, definitely hit me up over on Twitter, first link in the description below. I'm buying uh, pretty much anything and everything for the right price. I can help you cash out safely, effectively, efficiently, all that good stuff. You don't have to worry about getting scammed or any other weird stuff going down. Uh, and of course, I sell them to me. You're helping support me, my channel, my content. Uh, yeah, so I would appreciate that a ton. Hit me up. With that being said, let's get right into this. The controversy we are talking about today is this. The Buff 163 news that has come out over the past couple days. I wanted to talk about this uh, yesterday, but then we had that big CS update come out. So I'm a little bit late on this, but um, hopefully it gives me a chance to get some updated thoughts and opinions and all that stuff out and uh, yeah, see where things are at. So uh, Buff 163, the largest CS skin marketplace in the world, and that is an understatement. They are not just the largest CS skin marketplace in the world. They are the CS skin marketplace. None of the other websites are really even comparable. Um, I didn't truly understand this until I started using Buff163 uh, pretty much at the beginning of this year. Uh, the volumes and the amount of users and the amount of money and the amount of sales going through Buff163 is insane. Um, the volume, the liquidity, everything compared to any other marketplace is it's not even a comparison. There's Buff163 and there is everything else. If you think or love Float and think that it's super active or Buff Market or SkinBit or GamerPay or SkinPort or whatever, none of these things are comparable to Buff163. And because of that, you could sell anything and everything on Buff163. You could sell the cheapest nothing item, sticker, whatever. And you could sell the most expensive niche items. You could sell stuff with rare floats, rare padding, patterns. You could sell um, stickers, you know, crafts. You could sell agents with patches. You could sell anything and everything. Um, you know, uh, there, there was everything. And now, obviously, a lot of those sales, a lot of that liquidity is going to get spread out all over the market, which is good and bad, but I really do think it's mostly bad in a lot of ways. But we're going to get into a lot of this news, whatever. But anyway, Buff163, the largest CS2 skin marketplace. I don't want to get ahead of ourselves here. Um, we'll now no longer let anyone without a Chinese bank account sell skins. or Not just sell skins, sell any CS items. Last week, we saw them no longer allow case listings likely to shield themselves from gambling. Now, they're completely stopping anyone from using the site without an Alipay wallet or Chinese bank account. Unless cash traders find a way to verify their account, I believe Western marketplaces are about to see an explosion of customers. Now, again, not only are we going to be seeing an explosion of customers onto Western marketplaces, we're also probably going to be sell seeing an influx of people heading to cash traders. So again, if you are looking to sell your items and you would have previously been selling on Buff163, hey, hit me up. Hit one of these other people up because there is a lot of people out there with cash that are going to be looking to buy and sell skins uh, from you, especially now that, again, Buff163, the place to sell skins previously for a lot of people in the world, is now out of business. Now, there are still some other good peer-to-peer -peer marketplace options, but there's some items um, that especially if you want cash fast, you're going to be best off going to a reputable trader, you know, a YouTuber, a content creator, somebody out there, a big person on Twitter. Um, but yeah, obviously this is going to get very, very, very crazy. Um, if you have balance on the site right now, you should be okay as you can still use a balance, but you can't uh, sell any more skins. Now, obviously when I first heard that Buff163 was having problems and was shutting off from Westerners and blah, 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 I had a mini heart attack. I have a lot of Buff balance. I have a lot of money on Buff. I am a cash trader. I am a person who is a big investor and a big seller. I, uh, you know, quietly and secretly, maybe even more than a lot of people would know, have a lot in sales, you know, for how small my channel is and how small my Twitter account is, whatever. I feel like we get a lot of items coming through. I have had pretty crazy inventories and collections and all this stuff. And okay, my cat is like knocking down the blinds right now. Get down. Um, so yeah, despite how small I am, I, I have a lot of stuff going on and I have a lot of balance on the site. And I, you know, if hey, if I lost all my buff balance, whatever, I would be okay at the end of the day. I'm not going to be bankrupt. I'm not going to be homeless, anything like that. But it would be a, a 
amount of money that would be gross to lose and I would be pretty upset about and it would be hard to bounce back and recover from. Um, but it does seem like at least for now, buff balance is safe. Now, a lot of us are going to have to decide what our best path uh, forward is to do with buff balance. Obviously, if somebody who has access to buff and still wants to continue to buy stuff on buff wants to uh, buy some of my balance, I would love to sell to anyone out there. I have, uh, you know, any amount of buff balance that you would ever want, I am able to sell to. Um, but my other options are one, spending that buff balance on just investing. You know, I can just buy a bunch of investments for my portfolio. But hey, do I really want to put all my buff bounds into investments? No, not particularly because, uh, you know, some of my buff bounds is my own personal cash and money. It's not money that, you know, I keep my business and my investments very separate. Um, so it's not money that I was all planning on using on CS investments. But if that's what I have to do, it's not really the end of the world. Or I can buy items to then try and cash out on another one of these websites. Um, but again, I think a lot of people are going to be doing that. So I could really even see prices going down uh, across the market just because people are scared and worried about this news. Um, but also, also prices going down on the Western marketplaces because I think they're going to be flooded with a lot of people who are buying items on uh, buff 163 right now and trying to sell them on other sites to get rid of their buff balance. So if you're somebody who is an investor or just somebody looking to buy cheaper play skins or skins or items or whatever, this could be an awesome opportunity to maybe do that on, on some other sites right now. Um, but yes, this is very crazy and very interesting and weird news. Now, obviously this is the big asterisk. And I know so many people out there are like, whenever you talk about China, whenever you talk about the, the weird different strange stuff that goes on in China. People are like, oh, you're being racist. You're being blah, blah, blah. It's like, no, this is another uh, key example of the weird stuff that goes on uh, in China and the weird decisions that a lot of their businesses make or are forced to make with whatever rules and regulations they have going on. You know, now is this just new rules and regulations being implemented by the Chinese government? Is this pressure being put on by the Chinese government? Is this just some random decision they decided to make? I doubt it because why would Buff163, this site and business that has an opportunity to have an absolute stranglehold on the CS economy and markets for years to come, uh, a multi-billion, or not billion, a multi-million dollar business, uh, why would they just choose to shut off, you know, half the world and, and a large part of their customer base or whatever? It doesn't make sense. Uh, it doesn't, it's not an effective business decision. It really doesn't make any sense at all. Um, but obviously this is why people are wary about stuff with China because yeah, what if, you know, you're, you did have a lot of money that ended up getting stuck on here or whatever, or what if, um, you know, like uh, having Buff 163 as an outlet has led me to purchasing a lot of items because I know, hey, I can always uh, just quick sell on Buff or whatever because there's always going to be buyers on Buff even if it's not for the exact best prices. So this is definitely going to hurt the markets in a lot of way. But again, uh, just as all the other times that we have seen uh, skins and the CS markets be dead in 2024, again, this is the second, third, fourth, fifth time, whatever, the markets have still been relatively flat. They've been relatively fine. People, Buff 163 shutting off to the West does not mean skins are dead. People can go other places. People are going to be able to sell on Float or SkinBid or GamerPay or whatever. Now, are any of these sites anywhere near Buff163? No, they do not have the features. They do not have the usability. They do not have the liquidity, the user base, anything like that. All of the sites right now in the West have a lot of uh, issues. They have either they're ugly, they're hard to use, they're confusing, they look like shit, uh, and they have no bulk buying and selling features. You know, Buff163, they had amazing quick sell features. They had amazing bulk selling and uh, buying features. And these other websites just don't have them. It really doesn't even make sense. CS Flow is a great looking website that is very easy to use. But again, without being able to sell or buy in bulk easily, which doesn't make sense for them because why would they not want people to be able to buy and sell in bulk and collect fees in bulk? Um, it doesn't really make sense. But a lot of these other sites like SkinBid uh, and GamerPay and these other ones, like they, they just look like trash. The UI is horrible it's hard to use it's very confusing it's ugly and they still don't have those bulk buying and selling features like there is not a clear-cut winner uh in the west right now for where these things are going to go uh and the reason is none of these websites are really all that good right now or have features that the market needs and that people who want to do all this stuff need um i'm surprised i don't follow this guy but some of the reactions and stuff here is uh, this guy, uh, Miu, he said, okay, never mind, I just got news that you cannot even top up with someone who has uh, Chinese Alipay in your buff account, does not have Chinese ID tied to it, so you're correct, there'll be an explosion of people using international markets, we can only hope there'll be enough people bridging the market together being Twitter cash trades. We also had Zipple talking about this, he said, buff can no longer be used by Westerners, this comes after what must be speculated as regulatory demands, first case get removed, then non-Chinese users, this means that balance you already have uh, can be spent with no expiry, at least not planned yet. 
again, if that balance did expire, that would be really disgusting. And people would get fucked out of thousands of dollars. Balance transfers might not uh, might be accepted for a temporary time. Uh, Buff said it's reviewed user to user. Some users uh, may still be able to sell. However, you will lose this ability. Changes just rolling out slowly. Uh, and he also says we are uh, obviously welcoming all Western Buff users to skin bid. And if you have a lot of uh, skins, DM uh, to discuss potential partner fee structure, automation, and other things we can offer. Skin bid has the nicest staff, uh, but also overshadowed by bad fees and lack of crypto withdrawal uh and zipple says yeah they don't uh they're not the best site for tax evaders he said anyhow crypto will be added in the foreseeable future with know your customer required uh fees are not possible to have lower competitive enough as is eight percent uh i would not necessarily say is all that competitive and i do think the fees are a little bit bad uh especially just yeah i don't know like i said i have issues with all the western sites i don't want to ramble too much uh nalo said this he said interesting by buff not entirely sure what issue that solves but i shouldn't have much of a long-term impact on the markets many western marketplaces already had comparable prices bulk listing is going to be a big topic coming up if you're not caught up you can't sell on buff if you're a non wechat alipay user which effectively bans anyone that isn't from china pickle here he says i don't think we can confidently say uh it won't have a long-term impact this will affect high-end crafts and skins even in the non-chinese market uh twitter users are far more likely to buy high-end crafts for regular players i think we're going to see a market shift on these higher-end items that are mostly bought by chinese users again i don't even necessarily think it's just uh the high-end stuff i think it is also um the illiquid stuff which is not always high end um but yes things like crafts all kinds of crafts cattle crafts um dream hack crafts um like i said low flow high flow it's just illiquids are, are going to be much harder to buy sell trade and all that good stuff um but we'll have to see um what happens with all those again uh, it's just going to be different gamer pay announces zero percent fees on sales plus direct deposit message this one's for you peer-to-peer -peer enjoyers gamer pay was launched to make it safe to trade scans with recent changes for western buff users we want to extend our hands and offer another peer uh, another safe peer-to-peer -peer marketplace to buy and sell your skins so from today the next two weeks we offer all users zero percent fees on sales zero percent fees on deposits via bank transfer and zero percent fees on deposits via crypto um so yeah i don't know this is uh what's going on right now again do i think skins are dead no do i think that the community is going to have to change and adapt yet again yes do i think all of this is getting exhausting yes does all of this increase the risk and the uncertainty in the markets yes and is that bad for uh increase increasing skin prices yes absolutely so again in the long run i think things are okay if skin do dip i would be buying the dip uh do i think they're dead no but is this getting really annoying yes uh, and is buff 163 um not being around a huge loss to the western community yes but it's not if somebody in the west steps up but so far they have not we'll have to wait and see what happens but either way it's a crazy story crazy development i can't really believe all the stuff that's going on um but here we are yet again talking about uh is the cs2 skin market dead uh we'll have to wait and see what happens next but that's pretty much it for this video today guys hopefully catch you in the next one until then peace